hello everyone, I'm Yanni from BUVU Gaming and today we are back in Mercury Fallen and we are starting a fresh game because the update 24 farming and harming is out. So now there are changes to the farming, we're gonna need seeds for instance to grow crops, there are changes to fishing, there are now random events that can happen like for instance cave-ins that might hurt or, hurt or even kill our colonists so there's a bunch of new things affecting the the early game and uh, i know i didn't quite continue with the old series but um that's because a lot of changes are planned for the surface content and uh, update 25 is gonna be about that and that means i don't want to dive too far into the surface content because it's just gonna be changed completely and um, hopefully also get a little bit more interesting than it is now because it is a little drawn out um, at the moment but anyway let's jump into the new game and uh, try and see if we can figure out how all the new stuff works so let's go for a normal size map and i think we're just gonna go for default uh, there's also easy and challenge which just gives you uh, more or less people and it also seems to affect the uh, spread of you can see you have more resources on the easy mode and uh, i think there's less on the challenge mode so that is what we're gonna go for and then of course it's always really hard to guess where the actual facility is because this looks like it's big enough that it could be the facility the same here the same there the same there it's not like it was several updates ago when you could easily see where you're gonna start out um so let's just try and find one i definitely want one where there's a reasonable chance that we're gonna get water nearby and I also would like one with a decent amount of resources. Actually, this map probably wouldn't be too bad. I think this is probably where the facility is. And we do have a big amount of water over here. But we also have to dig a good deal of way to get access to resources. So, hmm, I don't know. Maybe we should just try. Let's just try. Let's just jump in. And each map has like its own challenge right so we'll just see where we end up by the turn of the 22nd century space exploration was dominated by corporate interests once a task for government space travel became a competitive market where companies pushed boldly and blindly into the black intent only on a return on investment for the first time in human history infinity corp was about to attempt the colonization of a planet outside of earth's solar system the construction vessel mercury was launched to start the automated construction of an underground facility on an alien planet a small research team was also sent to survey the planet before a colony ship full of settlers left earth the research team would awake from stasis automatically shortly after their arrival or at least that was the plan okay i don't think that has changed but that's fine i like reading these things anyway after years of silence uh, decay and settling dust what remains of the mercury facility rears, <laughs> i always have a hard time with that work back to life uh, the screens flicker on the long dormant stasis capsule containing the crew they're finally ready to emerge from their long dreamless sleep okay so the satellite link is offline mission crew unable to establish connection to all capsules facility structure critical yeah things are not going so well let's hit sp uh, space immediately to pause doesn't look like there's any changes to the tutorial here or the little guideline on what to do and it looks like we have three people as expected this one is empty we definitely have some fuel over here we have some stone here we have some sand here all this is just dirt which doesn't give you anything but there is a chance of finding a butt or a uh, one of these pots inside the dirt so that would be a reason to mine it out but of course we have to be a little careful uh, at the moment because or well <laughs> in general with this uh, how the new stuff is let's deconstruct this one uh, can't open that until we uh, unpause the game but uh, when it comes to cave-ins um, I don't know if there are more random events than cave there's cave-ins and then there's crop disease 
which you will probably see once we get some crop fields going at some point and uh, but I, it sounded like there might be other random events so i don't know anything about those but when it comes to the cave-ins apparently any open area that has where there's more than five tiles without any support and support can be any tile like this dirt sand all of these act as support as well as uh, build walls i assume the, the damage walls don't work but i don't know for sure but if you build a big room, big open room, then there's a risk of um, of uh, a cave-in if there's more than five tiles without any kind of support, right? So this is pretty much the max of what you can have, I think. And I would actually, I don't know, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, oh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah, ten. So this is kind of the, the maximum size we can go for. Um, okay, so uh, let's unpause this and get going. I was just kind of thinking about what we needed to do. Uh, there we go. It's only been a few months since I played, but I've been playing a bunch of other games, so now I have to remind myself how to play this. Oh, we got some hemp seed and potato seeds already. I was wondering if we had to get out and actually find some plants before doing anything. Okay, we got some vehicle equipment, colonist equipment. We can make someone stronger and some water output. Okay. Or increased water output so we're definitely gonna want to mine where are we okay we're not exactly where i thought we would be i think i thought we would be somewhere here but we are down in the corner which is kind of interesting which means i think i want to dig out this way because i think i want to have like a center area with storages and everything uh, so let's see first of all we need to <laughs> Figure out what to do with people. Oh wow, you are not very... Oh wow, these are terrible. Look at these guys. None of them are smart at all. <laughs> oh wow. Okay, you're pretty fast. You're pretty pretty strong. Um, Our robot is actually smarter than our people. <laughs> but okay, you're the smartest. So you are going to be a doctor. Oh wow, this is already starting out really badly, guys. Um, you are gonna be, I think you're gonna be an engineer as well. And uh, when you're not doing that, then you, you might want to have you... Um, let's just have you help out with hauling a little bit. Then you are pretty strong and you are fast. Okay, so you are gonna be let's say that you're gonna be a technician and when you're not doing that then you're gonna take care of the crops and right now we don't need a cook because well unless that has changed of course then it's gonna be a while before we can actually cook anything right now they're just gonna be living off raw foods um com officer takes a while as well biologist well there might be there's some changes to the fishing so we might need it sooner than we usually do or we have done so far but yeah i think we're gonna leave that um okay so let's see what are we gonna do with you aside from that we also need a scientist we need someone who is um maybe you can help uh i don't really because now i'm a little bit with this well you can help a little bit with mining when you're not doing that and then you i think you are eventually gonna be a scientist which means you're just gonna be sitting around. It's always a little ha impractical in the beginning because uh, you only have a few people doing everything right. So, and if we lose someone to a cave in, that is gonna be a problem. Um, so when you're not doing that, let's have you help out mining and hauling. Yeah, let's just do that. And you are gonna be a tech. Uh, building and then mining. I think that's fine. I think that's fine for now. We could make someone stronger though. Uh, who is the weakest? Five, five. So one of these guys. Well, if you're gonna be hauling, then it might be a good idea to make you strong. So we um, will have like smarts, muscles, and speed. So let's put it here. Uh, because that just makes it easy to see so you have like the head item you know a brace back brace or something and then you have shoes or something down here there we go yeah let's do that okay enough talking let's try and get some stuff assigned here 
Uh, I'm a little working a little slow at the moment because I'm trying to decide how I want to do this so we don't suddenly um, end up without supports. But I definitely want to mine out this because that is the um, well fuel. So we definitely want that. I would like to mine this out as well because that is going to give us some iron. Then we have some stone down here. We don't really need sand at the moment, so I think I kind of just want to try and mine out. Oh, uh, yes, of course. There we go. Mine out a little bit there. Let's speed up a bit. And then, of course, we are going to want to deconstruct these. Just like that. And I think for right now, let's just deconstruct the floor as well. Uh, I, we might want eventually to have some hallway floor here, but uh, well, let's wait. But then we get a little bit of resources from it, and we might want something else over here. Oh, nice! There's actually a, a kind of an open area over here. Um, I just have to check that it's not too big, which is a little bit tricky because I can't move out this way without actually mining in this direction. So let's see: one, two, three, four. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. Uh-huh, and then one, two, three, four, and hopefully there's a wall over here. But technically, we could say that we want to have a wall. Let's try to start to make a wall a little bit here. Uh, how much room do we have down here? Well, we do have some room to make, like, some kind of a crafting area down here. Maybe we can put our crops down here or something. Um, that might be a thing. But yeah. Okay, yeah, there are some supports, so that's good. Mm, yeah, let's do that. So I think that's what we're going to do. Okay. Um, well, let's start with that then. We are gathering some resources already. I don't know why it hasn't triggered yet. Um, okay, let's just try and mine behind there for now. So we get a bit of overview. We can mine out a little bit here. Right, to so get some, some uh, stone. I kind of want this. And this and this um, okay so let's get some stuff going we definitely want to get I want to get one of these a charge pad it looks like we have everything for it I do want one of these for our little robot question is where I want you but um, we could just switch this out with some some stronger walls eventually so we're gonna need a door somewhere we're gonna need a spot for you and uh, let's see i think let's just put it right oh i forgot i actually want a floor underneath that but that should not be a problem to just kind of put it like this there we go let's work on that and then we are going to want to have some crop fields oh we don't have enough resin yet we need to start uh, deconstructing some of all these walls here uh, let's just try and do it a little bit like this just to try and make sure that hopefully we don't get any kind of cave-ins So here we go Let's just take a little bit in between here Just like that we could take this one. I don't know if these even work so we might end up with a cave-in guys <laughs> uh, Because I don't know if they offer any kind of support at all. Yeah, we need some power Um. I forgot about that. Uh, okay, so we have crop fields. Let's no, you know what? Let me get some walls going. We do have a little bit of food. Let's say I want a wall there, and I'm gonna want a wall here. And let's put a wall there as well. And hopefully, someone will build that. Let's open this up so we can see. Yeah, we have 72 structure in, so that is a beginning. Uh, here we go. Let's remove this. And let's remove you. Let's uh, remove one of these. Let's take... Oh, I think... Is that an actual wall or a destroyed wall? No, these are... I don't think these are destroyed so or broken, so they might work. There we go, that means we can start uh, deconstructing these ones, right? Uh, there we go. And just 
kind of gradual fill in a little bit. So that's where our wall is going to be, right? And then we are going to take where are our crop fields. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking uh, we might have a wall going out there as well. So this might be kind of a little bit of a corner thing. Let's put you there. Let's build one there. So that eventually we're going to have a wall coming across here and there's going to be another room here, right? And then we're going to have a wall coming down here. Uh, so where that robot is, it's going to be a wall as well. There we go. Okay, so. Uh, okay, that's different. So now we have to click on this and let's get some food going. Yes, let's do that first. Nice. And then we just need to get the other one built. And yeah, now our robot is running out of a power. Uh, we need the elevator, so let's see. I kind of want that in this big room here somehow. We're going to have mainly storage in here, uh, but I would like to make this fairly big. So let's see, one, two, three, four. Okay, five is there where the little robot is or the little chat pad is. And we can make it, you know, like a long room if we want to we just have to have it like only 10 wide i think so let's see one two th oh, three four five so yeah if we put it there that should be pretty much centered if we make it like 10 by 10 or something did i set anyone else to be a builder or only uh you are minor hauler minor Okay, let's let you do some building as well. Of course, right now our worker can't do it, but as soon as we get this done, then we can actually uh, be able to do something here with our little robot. So we also want to get some power in. I know I'm not doing this the best way at the moment, or I'm working a little slow, but uh, just figuring out how all the new stuff works. Okay, so now we got this going. Let's get more potatoes. Okay, how are we doing? We have 63 structures and what did we need for the elevator? Here we go. Connects the underground facility to the surface, yes. And it takes it just takes structure resin, so it shouldn't be a problem building it. Is my builder gonna do something? Yes. I feel like they're still moving fairly slowly. <laughs> okay, so let's um start mining out some more stuff. Definitely want some of this. So let's just do that. We can mine out this thing. Okay, let's get a little bit of sand here. And uh, let's mine out the stone over there. This stone. Okay. Yep, and let's do this. Okay, so we got the elevator. Now we just need to, let's see, it's six. Yes, there we go. Now we're getting them built. And that should hopefully lead the power over here. Does that not work that way? Oh, yes, there we go. Now we have power. Haha, -ha, and it can get charged. Awesome. Let's uh, go back to normal view. Because this has uh, solar panels on the surface. So you get a little bit of power from this. You can see, well, <laughs> it's only in the daytime we're going to get power. And right now it's like 7 in the morning. So we should start getting a little bit of power as the sun comes up uh, from this. But uh, we are going to need some proper power, right? Okay, so that was that. Then we are going to put a science lab floor, I think. Let's put you... Actually, let's put you Let's put you in a corner there. I haven't fully decided how we're going to do this. And we can change it later. It's just a little annoying to have to de or deconstruct things again. So I prefer to figure it out right away what we want to do. But we definitely want to get a research station going. And that has to go to on that kind of floor. So let's put you there in the corner. And then we can get our researcher going. And then we need a refinery room. Yes. So we're going to have like crop fields over here. Some kind of storage. There's also a new storage thing. Aha, crop bin. Storage container for crops and seeds. Hmm, 20 resin. That might be a good idea to get one of these in. Um, Where do I want you? Uh, I think 
let's put you potentially right there and then we can have like a floor right here right so let's just put a little all the way floor in then we're gonna have a wall coming across here how much structure is and have we only have 18 we definitely need to deconstruct some more stuff so let's remove you this one should be fine we have some stuff on the side right uh, okay this one is damaged as well but it's right next to natural supports so hopefully this will be fine right and then let's try to put a couple of walls in here and I have to figure out where I want the door over here but let's put a wall in there have a wall there okay <laughs> here we go trying to keep my people safe nice okay so mining wise again let's mine out some of these a little bit of stone there I see some more stuff in the back here that we can deconstruct so let's do that and let's say mine out this one and this one and this one and that is like the edge of the map yeah okay let's just try and mine out here oh i see some more fuel here so let's get that okay there we go so now we can store uh, crops and food in here eventually i'm gonna move the food elsewhere but right now that is fine and oh all right i need power here <laughs> oh there we go okay so they should quickly get that built and then we should be good mm -hmm. oh looks like we have some kind of room over here let's uh, deconstruct these and uh get some more resin from that and i would also like to deconstruct a floor over here oh look at that we found a little canister open oh we have got a colonist lock a uh, plant nutrients required liquid nutri nutrition for growing plants in the aeroponics farm right and some structure resin and of course some hemp okay that's fine uh, I'm not going to be reading those colonist logs at the moment. We kind of done that in the previous series. Well, I don't remember. Did we ever get around to it in the in the last one? Oh, I thought I... Oh, okay. <laughs> it just didn't go away. So then we have you. We should... Yeah, we can harvest this and that should give us some stuff as well. So let's just do that. Otherwise, they'll just sweat. Uh, which is fine then we can get more of it but i assume we'll find more plants if we, as we move around here and we didn't find any people right no so far we haven't so we are gonna do some we're just gonna keep oh, doing a bit of branch mining i think uh, like this because that way we always have supports we can still mine out what is in between of course um but it will give us something here so there we go okay we have this big room have to think about getting some supports in here so definitely want this and then we're gonna have a door and then yes okay so you we're gonna remove and that gives us some supports here then we have this uh, which means we probably want to have a door here right and i think this even though it's a normal wall we're gonna remove it and the okay i have to decide on that refinery room that's right okay so how much room i think this would actually be enough for a refinery room we might have to put walls in down here even though it's the edge of the map but we have one two, one two three four five six seven uh yeah so let's no mine 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 we should be able to mine this out just fine we have supports there and there right so uh, up until here at least that should be no problem so that's one two three four five yes okay and i think we can mine out these two as well okay so this is gonna be like a beginning to a refinery room let's put a door in here let's put a door in there 
See, we're not really getting that much power, but we are getting a little bit. Did our researchers start mining a little bit? Uh, yep, there we go. Okay, so we got 34 points, but it's over time. For those of you who don't really know the game, it's over time. The longer the uh, while the researchers sitting at the table, they accumulate these points that you can then spend on these things. And of course, the first thing we need is all processing. So we need to uh, get 75 points and then we can get this. And eventually there's gonna, right now you can only see one recipe, but there's gonna appear more in here as you progress through the game. Um, so this is just kind of to get ourselves started a little bit. It's not the most exciting <laughs> in the beginning. Uh, there we go, just checking if we have found any pots, anything. Okay, so we need to start looking at the refinery. So we need a refinery floor. Uh, and the reason I'm not filling out the floor completely is because we don't have a humongous amount of resources in the beginning. So um, I need to think about where I want things. I think I want a machine over there. So we're going to start with that. I kind of like to, I don't know why, but I like to putting in hallway floors like this. Just to indicate where my floor is. You know, I'm using up some resources on this, but yeah. Um, then we're gonna put our bio refiner and it's R to rotate. So we're gonna put you right there so our person can stand right here and work. So yeah, let's just fill out that little spot right there. So that's the beginning. And then we should start getting some storages in, right? So we have some raw storage containers. Um, I'm thinking I probably want a variety of these. Let's remove you. I think we can mine these out as well now. So let's do that and see where else do I have like broken walls. I have a broken wall there. Might be a good idea to get these removed. Gonna remove you and you and you. Okay. There we go and then Put a wall in right there and go around like this. Oh, is that actually where we were? Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I kind of want that further back actually. So let's regret that. Um, let's just remove those again and figure out exactly where we want the wall. So one, two, three, four. And then that's where the wall is. So that's five and then five here, right? So four, three, two, one, and then the wall should be there. Yeah. So then you know, I don't think I want any extra doors there. Bring you around a little bit. I'm not sure about this one. So let's remove you. Let's leave these walls in until we have built the corner. There we go. Nice. How are we doing on research points? We still only have 45, but that's fine. Let's make sure to get some power over here. Okay. And how are we doing on food? Well, we have 56, 7 potatoes, so we are doing fine, I think. Let's get these removed. And then we can have some more crop fields on the other side. So let's, um, where were they? They're right here. Oh, there we go. Let's start having one there. Oh, by the way, I think I actually... No, I think I'm going to build a wall, actually, if I can, around the edges a little bit. Kind of just ignore the fact that we have, just so we have the support, right? Oh, I don't... Oh, <laughs> it's because I paused. He's going completely crazy. Do I want a storage on the other side, actually? I think I want... So let's remove you, so that eventually we can... Um... See, then we're going to have one as well there. And then we can kind of tell what we want to actually store in them because we can go in here and say well priority you can use to kind of say make sure that you store in this one first for instance and then you can have all your leftover put in another storage somewhere else and have that storage then be like you know low priority and then your main storage can be critical and then you can have like a warehouse somewhere where you store any surplus stuff if you want to and then of course we can go in here and say allowed items so eventually i would probably want to have like 
I don't know, uh, potato seeds in one and maybe hemp seed seeds in the other or something like that. I don't know. It depends on how many seeds we get because I don't know. Um, and for right now, I'm just going to let them store everything they want in these. So I think you are going to be hemp. And when it comes to the seeds, um, you do get seeds from the crops, but the, the higher the level of your botanist, uh, the most, uh, the greater the chance to get more seeds. So uh, it's good to have someone who has a high uh, talent or high skill to actually do some stuff. Okay, so we need to produce something here. We can make, how are we doing on minerals? See, we have some mineral compound, we have azurite, hematite, and sand. So let's get some structure resin going, and I like to do something like this and say, I want to make sure we always need a lot of this. So let's just say we're going to have 200 structure resin. And then I would like to have a bit of bioplastic, but don't need a huge amount of it. So I think we're just going to start with 30 or something. So that's what we want to have in our storage. And then we are also gonna need to add some cloth. I think it's 10 cloth or something for a bed. Maybe set it to 20. So they don't spend a huge amount of time on that. Um, there we go. Nice. Okay, well, that was kind of a beginning, guys. We're not that far. We are only just getting started, but I'm trying to play it a little bit safe. Uh, I might mess up a little bit on uh, on uh, well I might mess up but I might also ooh, we have a vent down here um, but I might also make may mess up on purpose just to see if we can trigger a cave in I don't know uh, but we'll see how it goes so uh, yeah let me know what you think about the changes so far with this for instance and uh, thank you for watching so as always do take care and happy gaming